midnight. You're like, who's the off. weirdo sitting over there is rocking back Brett and forth in the chair? Brett has been bringing <laughs> us innovative electronic products since 2008. He is an ex-radio DJ. He's married, has cats, and he's currently <laughs> rocking in a chair I'll be bringing to everyone. Mother! At the 4th of July kickoff at midnight. <laughs> Now, Norman! Okay, listen, we're gonna be making a lot of TV and movie and sitcom references this hour because this is exactly what this hour is about. Yep. For those of you that like to watch TV, for those of you like me, Brett, who Joe and I are homebodies through and through, our family room is our sanctuary, Mine this too. is what we do. Yep. So, a hundred of these little things that are smaller than a harmonica have been sold. Why don't you just for the sake of I'm not a techie, and people watching probably aren't either, a lot yeah, of them. that's okay. Take it from the top and explain what this is, as I tell everybody that so far today, 81,000 of these smaller than a harmonica things have been sold, and that means we are two thirds sold through of the entire quantity we have to last, which by the way, it's called the Amazon Fire Stick. This is the latest, greatest 4K one. It's cheaper now than it even was as a TSV back in December. And I will make it clear to you, you get the remote control and some other really cool bonuses with this offer. So it's 139 bucks plus that you're getting today for the final hour for under 35. So that makes it the lowest price available and certainly the lowest that we've ever done. All right, Brett Hamilton. Hey now. What's an Amazon Fire Stick? Well, that little device that you have in your hand right there is capable of generating more than 500,000 different TV shows, movies, uh, add some music to that, add some games to that, add some Alexa love to that because there's a fully functioning Amazon Echo inside there. I mean, we haven't really talked about that a lot today and I'll get to it, but please remind me to talk about the fact that that is an Echo as well. But the stick itself was built for being able to essentially, and Sean said it uh, very well just a few minutes ago, being able to watch pretty much anything you want, anytime you want, anywhere you want. And what do I mean by that? How many times have you wanted to watch a TV show or more than likely a movie, an older movie? You're like, God, are we really in the mood for blank? And you're like, I don't know when it's on again. I don't even know if it's ever going to be on again. And if it is, what channel? And if it's on that channel, what time and what day? Or you can take the guesswork out of it and do what I'm about to do. There's a microphone on here that wakes up Alexa and Sean is going to give me a movie that she hasn't seen in a long time, but over the weekend, maybe you and Joe, when you're sitting around uh, doing nothing, want to watch. Give me a movie. Charade. Charade? Yes. Uh, how old is that movie? Just out of curiosity. It's <laughs> probably 50 plus years old. Okay. There, it's it's uh, Audrey Hepburn okay. and it's, yeah, Cary well, Grant. Let's find out. It's good. Charade. Oh, well, there you go. Maybe <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, Audrey Hepburn, you said? Yes. Charade, Audrey Hepburn. Mm. Uh, Shooty Desi, <laughs> Audrey Rose, <laughs> discovering Audrey Hepburn. Congratulations, you are only the second stump of the day. <laughs> the first one came with uh, Dan, uh, Dan Hughes this morning. He asked for Hogan's Heroes and it wasn't there. Give me something else because obviously Charade's not there. My husband loves the movie Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. There it is. So this is a perfect example of a great movie that probably is not on cable today or tomorrow or this weekend, may or may not be on on demand, may or may not be uh, playing in your town, probably not. And how else would you find that? How else would you find your favorite movie or your favorite TV show or your favorite streaming uh, program? Because so many of us struggle with technology, right? You go, this is super cool, but I bet you it's impossible to use. You saw how easy that was to use. I just touched the microphone. Give me a TV show. The Office. The Love office. it. The Office. And there's The Office. Brand. And you know what I was about to say? Not only the version with Steve Carell in the U.S., but if we slide to the right, there you go. That's how it all began with Ricky Gervais. And that guy is hysterical. By the way, can if you have an Amazon Fire Stick, and don't forget, this is the latest, greatest 4K one, that does not need, mean you need a 4K TV to make it work. Nope. It just means that if you ever do upgrade to a 4K TV, 
This is the latest technology that'll be compatible with that. The remote that Brett is using for all of the commands, it isn't obviously included in this offer that came out a little wonky. It D is- We'll cut that part out, say it again. It is obviously included in this offer. And we have 600 of these gone because what people by and large have been doing today, I've heard the calls, I have friends, I'm not a techie, but I know my personal story for why we own one of these. Um, People are calling in to send kids off to college with it so they don't have to buy the cable package in the dorm room. People are calling in because they have guest rooms where company is coming this summer and they don't want to subscribe for like a third cable box in the house. So they're just sticking this into the side of the TV in the guest room so those folks have access to TV. And then Joe and I got ours yep. because Joe works out in the basement. Yep. And we have a TV down there and there was zero chance of us spending big money on cable in the basement since we're never down there. So we got this to plug it into the TV so that he can access a ton of content, movies, sitcoms, news, whatever, while he works out. And you know the interesting part about Joe's situation, because I can relate because I did the exact same thing. I had cable in our basement for as long as I can remember. And I found that over the last couple years, I would go down to the basement, you know, you're working on a project, doing whatever you do, you have the TV on to watch a game or to stream a video or something in the background. And I found that over the course of months and months and months, I was never turning on cable. <laughs> I was watching something from Netflix or Hulu or the MLB channel or oh, whatever it may sure. be. And all that stuff was coming from Fire TV, not from a cable box. So I had this epiphany one day and I said to Mega, I was like, that's it. We're spending $14.99 a month for that extra box in the basement. It's DVR, it's high def, and I'm not even using it. And whether you use it once or you don't use it at all, you get charged. So 15 bucks times 12, 150, other, you know, you're spending more than $150 a year for a piece of equipment that you never use. Now, I'm not saying get rid of cable, but I'll say this, there is a way to certainly save a lot of money because many people now are stripping back their cable, right? They're getting rid of the thousand channels and they're keeping the basic package and they're going a la carte. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you can go on here and you can find all these individual networks and you can subscribe to them or get them for free in many cases. Now, HBO Now is obviously a, a subscription. But as we scroll through here, you're starting to go, wait a minute. The channels, the handful of channels that I watch on cable are now available on here. So even if you go a la carte and you spend a buck here or a buck there for a show here and there, it's got to be cheaper. And the other question I'm getting a lot today is, how do I get my local channels? Your local channels are not on here, they're on something called an over-the-air antenna. And there are a lot of companies that make these over-the-air antennas. And they will give you your local channels in each market. We live near Philadelphia. An over-the-air antenna plugs into your TV just like this does. You point it towards wherever you need to point it towards, you hit scan on it, and it finds your local networks. And you have free TV for all of your local channels, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. That is not part of what I'm giving you here, but I wanted to answer that question because I've been getting it so often today. You over there in the stripes. Nicely done. Um, we have over 82,000 of these little fire sticks, the latest version, the 4K. You don't need a 4K TV to use it. Um, spoken for on the day. And we have over 1,200 here in this show that only started nine minutes ago. Um, Kathy on Facebook wants to know, how do I get to this on my TV? How yes. do I get to the input? How do I set this up? How do I plug it in? And Brett's Excuse gonna me. show us, Kathy. Yep. By the way, Brett is also gonna address for anyone that's extra tech challenge like I am, how do you even get all the appy dues on your screen like this? Do they load automatically? Do you have to load them? Take it. Yeah, so before we get to the appy dues, I think I may have moved my wig when I was reclining there. I hope it all slid back into place. Does it look all right from the back A here? A little bit, yeah. Okay. All right. For those of you wondering, how does this thing work? I'm going to take you from start to finish. This is the fire stick. This is what you're going to get. And it looks like Sean said, it looks about the size of our harmonica. It looks a lot like a thumb drive that you would plug into uh, the side of your computer. It is not a thumb drive. It does not plug into a computer. It plugs into what's called an HDMI port in the side of your TV. And if you've got a flat screen TV, sorry about that, you have... <clears throat> at least one and probably multiples of these HDMI ports. Step number one is to take the power plug that comes with it that looks just like this and take the power, don't have my old man readers on, plug that in and you're going to plug this into the wall. This needs uh, juice, this needs electricity to work. The second thing you're going to do is either take this and plug it directly into the HDMI port or if you can't get there and something's in the way, you can use this fancy little connector that they give you. And you go here and you plug it in there and you've just installed it. Now to answer the Facebook question that Kathy, I just had. Kathy, 
Kathy said, how do I make this come alive? Well, I'm going to show you in a second how you set it up. But the way this works is if you have cable plugged into your TV now, and how many of you over the years have had a DVD player or a Blu-ray player or a gaming system? And you know how you go from HDMI 1, which is your first input, over to HDMI 2 or 3 so you could see the Blu-ray player or you could see the DVD player or you could see the gaming. This is exactly the same thing. This is not going to interfere with cable. You don't need cable to use it, but if you have cable, they can live side by side. So all of that said, once you plug it in, I want to show you, and this is Sean's favorite, absolute favorite part of the hour. I want to show you what it looks like once you turn it on and in about 90 seconds, what it will take to make it come alive. So take a nice close look at the screen here because this is what your screen is going to look like. First thing you're going to do is hit the little home button that will connect the remote control to your TV. Then you select a language. Then you need to connect it to the internet in your home. Same way you would with a computer, same way you would with a tablet. So you're putting in your internet password and that'll be on the side of the box that brings the Wi-Fi into your house. It's that really long code that makes no sense. Plug that in, it'll automatically update your Fire Stick to the most recent version. And that's important because Amazon is constantly adding goodness. And once they add it, they give it to you for free. Then you need to sign into your Amazon account. I already have one. If you don't, you can sign up for one. It's free, it takes about two minutes. Once you get an Amazon account or have one already, put in the email that you use for your Amazon account. So I go B-R-E-T, and then I roll down here at whereveryouare.com. Then you put in your Amazon password, A-B-C, and then I go down here and click, and I sign in. And then once I sign in, the hard work is done. So that took about a minute. It's just gonna make sure that it's you. It's gonna say, are you Brett? And I say, yep, and I hit continue. And then I go down here and have the option if you want for parental controls. If you have young ones in your home, set the parental controls so they're not buying movies and running up a bill. Now, go over here for the last step. If you choose, you can let this thing run your television as well. Meaning once you select the brand of TV you have, it'll do the volume, it'll turn the power on and off, which means now you have one remote. And then when it's all finished setting up, which is exactly what that was, you get this. Now, Sean talks about, what did you call these things? The happy dues. The happy dues. Happy dues. Oh, happy dues, right. Sorry. Happy dues are like, are like uh, what you would have on your phone, right? You have yeah, the little happy yeah, dues right, on your phone right. and on your tablet and right. stuff like that. These do not come populated already because it's up to you to decide what your television experience none of is them, look like. None of them come preloaded. No, there will be stuff up there. Some preloaded. But GBC. most you have to like find and load. And, and But in all fairness, to find and load them, watch this. Uh, Bravo. What it? Bravo? Bravo. Bravo. No. Bravo. And la what? <laughs> <laughs> Did that just make fun of me and say la di da? I think so. Bravo. There's Bravo. Perfect. Now I go down here. And it didn't cost to load that app. No, I so hit So you can Bravo. load any of the channel apps that you want. Exactly, so there it says, do I wanna download it? Boom, I hit download. Now, while that's downloading, and this will take about 45 seconds, uh, in the meantime, you've gone and you've downloaded and, and all the stuff that you want onto your screen. One of them that I know you're gonna dig, and by the way, there's Bravo, so it popped right up on the screen, is QVC. Guess what? Now, QVC main channel, QVC two, QVC three, Beauty IQ, all live on your TV for free. So I want you to think about that, la di da. The fact that now without cable, without satellite, with any, without any sort of subscription, you are now watching QVC on your high definition TV for free. Yes, you and the stripes. That's great because this is QVC Live and this is us live, yep. so great. But yep. the better thing that I think is really cool is that now on demand, I can pull up a QVC show from last week like I would like to watch my Isaac show from last Friday. All right. Please, well, let's go Jamie in a bottle, make it happen. Is that it? There's That's Isaac it. right there. So if you missed Isaac uh, last week, the week before, whatever it might be, QVC, there's the, the 28th, so that would have been the most recent episode, allows you, look at you all cuddling there up there I on am. the couch. You do a lot of cuddling. Yeah, do I, do a a of, do a I do a lot, lot of sitting. There's a lot of sitting. You do a lot of sitting, a lot of pillow hugging. <laughs> now, now you can watch the shows that you've missed because the people, the, uh, the scientists behind, I call them scientists, I call them the engineers, the people that created this marvelous app also created the ability for them to be able to go and add shows that you've either seen and want to see again or shows that you want to see 
uh, over and over again, a week later, a month later, whatever it might be. And depending on what you're in the mood for, they are there. There's Martha and there's Lori and so on and so forth. Yes, again. Uh, for the viewing audience, I would like to recap both what we're doing and what I've heard so far. What I've heard so far is this. The Amazon Fire Stick, the latest, greatest 4K that you don't need